Hey guys, there is a little post credit scene that you don't want to miss, so make sure to stick around. But first, I want to thank ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. A VPN, or a virtual private network, creates a secure connection between your device and the internet. So it basically encrypts and helps keep your data safe. Another great thing is, it lets me connect to streaming services and websites around the world as if I was in a different country. Godzilla King of the Monsters is not available in my country, so I just switched to a different country and boom, it works. They have a whole bunch of countries to pick from and they have some of the fastest speeds. So if you guys are interested in encrypting and protecting your information and have the ability to use the internet from any location in the world, go to expressvpn slash shutterauthority to sign up and find out how you can get 3 months free. Ok now let's get back to the post credit scene. Alright guys, now for the behind the scenes and the VFX breakdown where we take a look at the different techniques we use to make the entire sequence. Alright, let's go and take a look. The first part of the workflow is to come up with an interesting idea and build a story around it. Then I make a storyboard with every single shot in the film. This is when I decide how much of it will be VFX and how I'll manage to pull it off. And then comes the shoot. I never realized how incredibly hard it is to shoot with little babies. We had to come up with some clever ideas to get the shots I had in my storyboard. After the shoot's done, I start working on the VFX. It begins with 3D camera tracking, where the program analyzes the footage and figures out a virtual camera that matches the movement of the shot. Then I start putting together all my 3D assets and animate them. This is probably the part that takes the longest time. We knew it would be really hard to get the baby to do some of the stunts in the video, so I had to create a 3D model of the baby and use it as a digital double. Of course, creating a believable human is quite tricky to do in VFX, so I had to come up with some ways to hide the imperfections and just show enough to tell the story. We used a motion capture suit by Rokoko to drive the animation for the characters. So instead of having to animate it manually by hand, I can just act it out and simply apply the motion to the CG characters. This suit doesn't have any markers and it connects to my computer via Wi-Fi, so it's very easy to set up and get it working. This makes the animation process so much better, quicker and fun. Once all the CG is rendered, I composite the layers in After Effects and try to match them as best as I can. In this example, both the baby and Godzilla are CG, rendered out of Blender, but the background is a real video that I shot with my camera. The Atomic Breath is a separate layer that I made with a plugin called Trapcode Particular. This is one of the easiest ways to make fire or energy in After Effects. Next, we go into Editing in DaVinci Resolve. All the shots are compiled in time to match the pacing of the story. This is also when all the sound effects are added. Alright guys, that's it for the making of this video. I hope it was interesting to see how I make these videos. If you enjoyed it, please like this video and share it with a friend. Follow me on Instagram to watch some of my VFX tests and behind the scenes content. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. See you in the next video. Bye.